when I was a kid, I took oil painting classes at the local craft shop. And I had this lady who was teaching me and she had, she said she worked at the Metropolitan Museum of Art as a restorer. And, uh, and I think she must have gone around to these craft shops and taught kids. And she would have these little, uh, we, we, we would copy things off, off of these little cards that she had basically of paintings. And that's when I started, I was probably 12. Um, and then I, I actually in high school took some art classes just tried to get outside, <laughs> tried to talk the teacher into letting me outside so I could do some paintings. And then in college, um, I didn't really do art until like um, the end, uh, I mean, after four years of college. And then I, I, I just started taking a lot of art classes and painting classes. So I just kept going. So again, in college, I, I had a wonderful teacher, David Feinberg, and uh, he brought all these books to class. And I just he just threw them on this table. And so I remember picking up one, and it was a, a Giorgio Morandi um, still life paintings. And it just blew me away. It was like taking a painting course by looking at his work. You could see how he, he mixed up dark and light and warm and cool. Uh, so that, that really, and then I started doing these big squares and we're gonna like um, still life paintings for me. And um, another big influence was, which is everybody's influence, I think is Cezanne. And he, you know, he's, the paintings are kind of, he's, um, he's sort of breaking up the paintings into particles almost. Um, and then, most in the 90s, in the 90s, I was in the Whitney Museum and I saw a uh, Joan Mitchell show. And that just, again, I just, I, I couldn't believe how beautiful they were. Rooms of just this, these blues. And uh, um, so that was, that was another really big influence.